Hello and welcome to this weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Greek and today I just want to give you a heartfelt personal recommendation of a, a Bible study app. I think originally I was given this app as a sample, you know, a review years ago when I was writing my 40 questions about interpreting the Bible book and, and I was given a sample of it uh, with free resources and I've been given some other free resources within it to check out so I want to just be forthright about that. But it's, uh, it's become my, my go-to way to read the Bible in the morning. And when I get up and it's dark and the kids and wife are still asleep, I am uh, yeah, on my iPad and on my phone. Um, it's where I like to read the Bible in Greek and Hebrew and English now. It's, um, I love the functionality. It's the Olive Tree Bible Study app. I know there are other great apps out there. Logos has a great app. Bible Ark has a great app. But... It's just extremely, yeah, just seamless kind of functionality, and it's very easy to figure out. I love that it has a Bible reading plans on there. I, I, I love the McShane Bible reading plan, and so you, it'll just jump between the text, you know, that you have there. Just, you know, done with this, done with it, it'll jump. It keeps up with where you are. Um, I love that you can have on there the Septuagint. You can have your Greek New Testament, Hebrew Old Testament. You can have... Uh, you can have lexicons, and you can just jump around in them, and it, it just works really well on a phone or on an iPad. And uh, you can have audio versions. Like uh, it has people sometimes ask me, what what Erasmian audio version of the Greek New Testament do you recommend? I recommend the one that that um, Olive Tree has. The Olive Tree Bible Study app has a great. Now these are for purchase. It's just like you'd have to have to buy them if you bought a you know set of CDs in the store. I think there's some some free maybe one free Bible version. There's some free stuff on there, but just yeah, most of these are for purchase. And but what you're purchasing, you know, you're getting the Nestle Lot 28, or you're getting the UBS Fifth Edition, or you're you're getting you know the scholarly, respected work. And I also have quite a few English Bibles on there. And so I, I um, yeah, I just. I found it to be very useful, and I can give you my heartfelt uh, recommendation of it. I use it almost every day, and I especially like when I'm traveling um, to have that little thin iPad, and it has all that material on there, rather than me stuffing a duffel bag with, you know, a Hebrew resource and a Greek resource and a Latin resource, you know, like trying to stuff all that in there. You can have all that in one place, including a Bible reading plan. So I realize I'm probably 10 or 20 years behind other people in this, but check out the Olive Tree Bible Study app. It comes with my many hours of personal use and recommendation of it.